I'm Kelly Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief number 460. The big, big news today is that AT&T will soon sanction iPhone tethering. AT&T's mobility CEO, Ralph De La Vega, told Mike Arrington tethering is on its way. It'll happen soon, and that's all we know for sure. Tethering allows you to use a mobile phone's broadband connection on a notebook. Mac Rumors hears that it'll happen along with the release of iPhone 2.2 firmware. 2.2 is shaping up to have everything we've been waiting for, except for perpetual motion and cold fusion. Two years ago, we introduced Geek Briefers to the iCast wireless audio system from Soundcast. There are lots of ways to move audio around your house now without wires, but of all the ones we've tried and we've tried a bunch, the Soundcast stuff is the most affordably versatile. A kit with one transmitter and one receiver is $180. This is the transmitter. It has an iPod dock and a line-in jack, and it'll send audio to the receiver we talked about two years ago. But a while back, they added an impressively constructed outdoor speaker. They call it the Outcast. It produces a rich stereo sound through four three-inch high-frequency drivers in an omnidirectional array. There's an eight-inch down-firing subwoofer in the base of the cylinder. The digital amplifier is 100 watts, and the rechargeable nickel-metal hydride battery pack, which is incidentally the biggest battery pack I've ever installed in the history of Geek Brief, keeps the Outcast powered for up to 10 hours. If you have it outside and forget to bring it in, it isn't a problem. The guys at Soundcast have set it on fire and put it in a high-pressure car wash, and it kept playing like the Energizer Bunny. They sell it for $800, but if you experience one, you'll understand why they built it tough. We're getting a little closer to a webcam gesture control system that we can actually purchase and use. Majestic technology, note the spelling on the lower third. The Majestic kit will include a 3D camera, software, and gesture templates. Unfortunately, it's PC only, XP and Vista, but I'm thinking about how cool it would be to have a display and camera mounted on a wall showing iTunes and CoverFlow view. When you want to change the song, just walk up and swipe your way through the collection. They don't have the price nailed down yet. They think it'll be in the range of a high-end webcam, and if you're interested, you can add yourself to a waiting list. My current favorite home automation company is Savant. I like them because they build their stuff on Mac hardware and software. Savant is showing off a new remote control in their rosy line that can hide in plain sight on a coffee table. The electronics are housed in a little bowl. You can choose leather, metal, or wood. In the center of the remote is an iPod-like scroll wheel. They keep it simple. There isn't much text on the remote because the graphically wonderful and customizable menu is displayed on a TV. I interviewed the founder of Savant on Geek Brief Radio. If you'd like to listen, there is a link in the show notes at www geekbrief.tv. If it's okay with you guys, I'm declaring 2009 the year of the smart home. The promise of home automation is more accessible every day. There are inexpensive DIY solutions that will accomplish everything a CDS certified home automation system can do. Maybe not as painlessly or as elegantly, but you can start automating your home for next to nothing. As homes become smarter, we'll start to see home server equipment designed around a digital life. The VitaBox rack server supports up to 7 terabytes of storage powered by Windows Home Server, but its disk drop idea is what stands out. You can drop an unencrypted disk into the optional Blu-ray drive or slide a smart card into the appropriate multi-card reader slot and boom, photos, movies, and music are automatically copied to the server and then the server goes to work looking for metadata about that media. Stuff like cover art and artist information. Very cool indeed. This episode is sponsored by Rovio. A GBTV viewer, Max, pointed out that you can take over the controls of a Rovio and test drive it. Go to meetrovio.com slash contest and click on test drive. You could even win the ultimate Rovio accessory kit. Thanks for watching and thanks for voting for Geek Brief TV at podcastawards.com. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. Hold on. Ow. Hold on. Readjusting my foot is cramping. Okay. Again? That happened yesterday. Well, it's the way I'm sitting to do this. Okay.